Hello and welcome back to another Shadowlands gold making slash gold farming video. I'm not sure if I can call this gold farming, but I can call it gold making, and here's what I'm doing basically. I am following people doing quests, and I am skinning the mobs that they are killing. And this is giving me an insane amount of gold per hour through leather. And the reason that leather is so expensive compared to something like cloth is that you can't really 2x4 farm leather, and you have to basically farm it by yourself, because even if you farm beasts in a group, only one person can skin every single mob, so it doesn't really benefit you to be in a group when doing this. So what I'm doing is I'm taking advantage of other people not having skinning while leveling, and I'm trying to avoid killing any mobs myself, and I'm just running around and skinning dead mobs that other people have killed. And for this I have Dark Moon Firewater, so I can skin faster, and that allows me to skin more mobs every single hour as well. Let's see. And this is how much leather I have gotten so far in 27 minutes. So you can see this is a lot of leather, but once I have done this for 30 minutes, so two and a half more minutes, I am going to send this to my bank character and show you the auction house values of it as well. Oh nice! A friend of mine actually got an epic in a dungeon in a dungeon as well. That's fantastic. <laughs> that is so lucky. That is such good RNG. Uh, but yeah, I almost have three stacks of leather, like desolate leather. I have two more minutes. I have gotten a ton of heavy desolate leather and heavy callus hide and regular callus hides as well. And there's so many dead mobs that I can skin. Like, this is such a hot spot for questing, there's always people here. And I found out about this when I was questing here myself, and I figured I'd go back and see if it's still popular, and it still is. And people just don't seem to have skinning while leveling, so I'm just gonna take their gold since they don't want it. Like, having skinning while leveling is so beneficial. I think I made like 40k gold myself uh, from leveling from 50 to 60, only by having skinning. Now sure it does take me some time to skin every single mob afterwards, but still, that is semi-passive gold and free gold. And this right here is completely soloable, but you do depend on other people killing mobs for you, so it's pretty much a launch strategy. And it's a form of gold making strategy that will be relevant for a couple of weeks. But once people stop leveling, it will be less and less relevant. So take advantage of it while you can. We have 40 more seconds, we can do a couple more skins before then. Do here as well. I'm just going to estimate that this is going to be like 60k gold in half an hour. Which is going to be insane. I have sold tons of leather so far, so I know like the rough price of it it should be 60k maybe closer to 50k and it depends on how much is a hit has gone down or up like this is when i should have had the long boy because now you're gonna have to sit there and watch for one minute while i send the stuff to my bank character uh, let me just go somewhere where there aren't mobs let me stop the stopwatch we'll do it over here So we're going to send all of this to Solheim Bank. You have a great day now. And then we're going we're gonna to log over to my bank character. We're going to post everything on the auction house. And then you're going to see the rough average gold per hour from this method. Now keep in mind, I've only farmed for half an hour. So whatever amount we make now, you have to multiply that by 2, and then you're going to have your gold per hour right now. Now this video is being recorded 15 hours after the launch, so the prices will go down drastically over time. But when it comes to leather, like leather workers need a metric ton of leather to craft the uh, legendaries, and you have to craft so many legendaries to rank up, and people are trying to get to rank 4. So people are going to need leather for a long time anyway. And since leather is so difficult to farm compared to something like cloth, 
is going to be very expensive for a long time, I think. So let's just see here. We got 37.7k gold in desolate leather alone. Then 14.4. That's already 50k, only in those two items. 60k with callous hide. 65k and then no 65k gold then in half an hour so if you're doing this right now you're gonna make a hundred and thirty thousand gold per hour but i'm not gonna release this video right away because i have done one video today already but yeah it's an insane way to make gold and i just thought about it because well leather workers need a metric ton of leather to use uh, craft those legendary recipes as i said right and it's much more difficult to farm than tailoring or cloth in general. So it's going to be in high demand, which also makes it very expensive. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. It's just a very simple way to make some gold right now. If you can find a place where people are killing beasts and you can skin them, like the place I showed you in the video, I guess I didn't really show you on the map where it is, so I can log back to my monk as well, so you can see the location, just so you know exactly where to go. And there we go, my monk. I don't have a target. Another good thing about this location, or Maldraxxus in general, is that there are these ground warts on the ground every now and then. And they are skinnable, and they will give you like 5 desolate leather each. I could see if I can find one right now, but I can't really see anything. I know one spawn location, so I'll just go and check that one. But it's only 5 desolate leather, so it's not really worth scouting for, but you can find them every now and then. And it gives you a nice little boost. But even now, I just logged back in, and you can see there's so many dead mobs on the ground. And that one just despawned on me. Very good. So the location is right here, you have the Covenant Sanctum right here, you have the Theatre of Pain in the middle, and you just go down here, which is a questing area, for the main story or campaign quest for Maldraxxus, so everyone has to do these quests, which is why there's always going to be people here, especially for the first two weeks. And then you just go here, pop a Darkmoon Firewater, and you just run around and you skin these mobs. If you find yourself having any sort of downtime, you can just kill some mobs yourself as well. But me, I just prefer running around and skinning the dead mobs already. It's just much more simple and it's perfect for me. It's like a lazy way to make gold and I'm making insane amounts as well. So yeah, I hope you guys can make some gold with this, I just wanted to share it with you. It's a different way to make gold for sure. And yeah, that's it. Uh, leave a like on the video if you liked it, and I'll see you again very soon.